Almighty Father, we worship and reference you. Glory be unto you for bringing us together in this Wednesday early heaven reminder. Please, O Lord, speak to our mind, touch our soul, encourage and inspire us. Let our name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is a very important day because we want to see uh, Nebuchadnezzar who seemingly praised the Lord, who seemingly give glory to the Lord. But I want to say something. Does he go right inside his heart? Is he doing it for him to continue in faith? Does he want to continue in the world to be a disciple indeed? Or is doing it just a shallow worship service? Many of us will do shallow service, pain lip service unto the Lord. Many of us we don't want holiness, purity, righteousness. We don't want to be identified with no corruption God, no unrighteous God, no nudity God. We don't want to be identified with God of patience, God of total truth. But we seem to praise Him in the churches with drums, dancing. Showing off our cloth, showing off our garments. Sometimes we celebrate and we call it in the name of God and bring something that is even wrong. But this man, Nebuchadnezzar, shows example of hypocritical people that seems to be godly, but they are worldly, and their internal mind has not been purged. So today. We are seeing Daniel chapter 4, 1 to 7, and we see the topic, Nebuchadnezzar, an example of shallow-minded worshipper. Nebuchadnezzar, an example of shallow-minded worshipper. We turn in the message in three categories. One, the letter of the dreamer containing shallow worship for God. Number two. Liberation and kindness common to save and withhold grief. Number three is leveraging the kingly contact to summon the wise men for guidance. Let's start from the first point, which is letter of the dreamer that contains shallow worship for God. We will see, but please follow me with not entertainment mind, but an exclusive mind. To be the Lord, as we see some things that is actually different from what we know before, because we are not looking at interpretation of the physical or carnal, but we want the Holy Spirit to interpret His word to us. Uh, the first point is letter of the dreamer. Of course, Nebuchadnezzar is the dreamer himself, but we are still going to see that dreamer maybe of other weeks containing shallow worship. For God, but you know, it's a dreamer. He has dreamt before, so if you call him a dreamer, we are not out of the bound. So let's see from one to three. Nebuchadnezzar the king unto all people, nations, languages that dwell or dwell in all the earth. Peace be multiplied unto you. I thought it good to show the signs and wonders that I God at wrath towards me. Can you see? It's like testimony. It's like giving testimony. He said, verse 3, How great are his signs, and how mighty, mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and his dominion is from generation to generation. Can you see? Look at the kind of applause, accolade, and how he's actually seemingly giving God the best of uh, praises and worship. But last, what of his arts? What was inside him? The heart of man is desperately wicked. The man actually, his heart is not, is full of evil. When you say you are even born again, born of Christ, porch outside, what of the evil name? He with that we are sent or to ill of the Lord. He need a clean hand and a pure heart. 
And you can make the heart pure. It's God. Because he entered there and purified. This man is simply to accept the Lord, the God of uh, Daniel, the God of Shadrach, Mr. and Abednego. But here we come, praising, giving praises, you know, many of them in their churches, in their fellowshipping, in their so-called Thanksgiving anniversary, they make noise. They lift up so many things. They actually even buy new clothes. They actually, actually, they do dressing. Somebody, this woman, a gear, that man, calves, others, they said that the new strategy of the, of the mufflers here and there. <laughs> but does he enter inside? Is it in honor of God or honor of self? Is it in honor of God or honor of the church, I mean assembly? Is it in honor of the bishop or the so-called reverend or the leaders? Oh my God. Think about that. Or to actually to make somebody who has do us good to be okay. Maybe Daniel did us good. Sadrach did something wonderful. Let's, let's just showcase that actually want to praise their God. Is it like that? Let's look at what the Bible says in Isaiah. Chapter 29, 13 to 14. Pay to 5, 15. Pay close attention. He said, Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as these people draw near with their mouth and with their lips to honor me, but have removed their heart from me. Their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among them. I will show them. Even a marvelous work and a wonder for the, for the wisdom of their wives. Shall perish. Can you see the wonder, the marvelous thing? The the God what to actually do to them is that the wisdom of the wise men shall perish, and the understanding of the prudent men shall be eat. It didn't see happen. The wise men, all the people invited to interpret the dream for guidance, they could not work because it's an hypocrite. Look at verse 15. Warn to them that seek deep to their counsel from the Lord. Listen very well. Warn to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. You see, they have their own counsel. He put it aside and he seems to be looking for it from God. He said, warn to them. He said, and they say, who sees us and who knows us? God knows your heart. God sees Nebuchadnezzar. God knows it's deep inside. God sees me and you. We can't hide. We can actually, we can be calling this, playing musical, musical instrument of, uh, of so-called musical of somebody here and there. They call, they call their names. Some of them are uh, hip-hop. Some of them are uh, juju. Some of them are, so many things they call their music. Even so-called Fuji. Even so-called uh, whatever, uh, whatever they call it. That is, uh, uh, they, 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 they make jest even in the church. They call them and they are laughing. They turn church to a laughing stock place. Uh -huh. This man seems to actually be worshipping, be praising God. Look, God love obedience and sacrifice. Let's go to point number two. Liberation and kindness common to save and withhold grief. God is communicating to this man so that the grief, the anger of the Lord will not come upon him. Four to five. Daniel chapter four. Uh, four, four to five. He said, "And I, Nebuchadnezzar, be careful of that word. I, 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 I was at rest in my house and, and flourishing in my palace. I saw a dream which made me afraid, and the thought upon my dead, and the vision of my head troubled me. Of course, God is allowing you to be troubled." It's actually communicating to you opportunity for liberation and showing his kindness so that he will withhold his grief, his anger upon you. But you realize it, I pray. The Lord who is sending to you, sending to me that run from sin, run from righteousness. Sometimes in dream, some have seen the revelation of hellfire. Some have seen the impending danger of punishment to come. But instead of thinking of your life, 
they start to use it for ministry. They didn't check out the life. Before you know it, they cannot hold on to the truth. The tentatively seems to serve God, but eventually they become ravening wolves. Eventually they become, it is shown that they are open sepulchre that actually look whitish outside, but inside full of dead men bones. I pray God will allow me and you to learn from this simple message. Let's go to point number three. Leveraging the kingly contact to summon the wise men for guidance. Look at it. He's a king and he's using the opportunity to actually call them. Verse six and seven. He said, Therefore made I a decree to bring all the wise men of Babylon before me, and they might make known unto me the interpretation of the dream. Then came in the magician. Look at all the wise men together, all of them in that category. Magician, the astrologer, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayer. And I told the dream before them, but they did not make known to me the interpretation thereof. How will they? God honor you. He gave you the wisest of men in the world. You have Daniel. You have those who are bold to stand without changing and fire could not overcome them. Cedric, Misak, and Abednego. You didn't go there. Those old and those actually people that actually they have head knowledge but not art knowledge. They actually into because where you are the same thing. Okay, birds of the same feather flock together, he called them. That's the hypocrisy in government, hypocrisy in worldliness, hypocrisy in the corporate world. They call people they know. They call people that seem to can walk. But when they see people of spirit, that God has invested in, uh, uh, invested his creativity in them, they won't follow them because they will not do what they do. They will not go what they do. But I tell you, we shall be the last resort. <laughs> they don't have option to call us. Because the spirit of the Lord is with us. The, why, the wisdom of God is in Jesus who came to us. So they will still need us. Let us go and pray and say, Lord, don't let me abandon you. Number one, don't let me press you with hypocrisy. Don't let me hide evil and seems to be pressing you. Don't let me be worldly and seems to be godly. Prayer in Jesus' name. Father, help us. I don't want to be worldly and seems to be godly. Help us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Number two, Father, Lord, the wisdom of God, let it live in me. Let others see Christ in me. They saw in Daniel. They saw in Sadrach. They saw in Meshach and Abednego. Let others see Christ in me. And let God be lifted through me. Let the glory of God be shown to the world. And I pray I will not compromise to the end. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for calling us together. In this section of early Elmo Reminder, we've listened to your word. Don't let us be here as alone, so that we will not be deceiving ourselves. So that we like, we will not be like them that look themselves in the mirror and forget the man or person you are. We want to have love, Father, you for the inscription of the perfect love, liberty living in us, and love, Father. We are courage. We are image of Jesus walking according to the will of God. We are not temporary sins. We are not hypocritical people. We are not idol, idol worshippers where we, we seem to be godly. We are not Christian outside, but from the inside. From today, the glory of the Lord will shine in us. We shall be salt and light to the world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.